Hi. Hi, and welcome back to another episode of I'm Forever Blowing Bubbles, a football manager story. My name's Dave, and you join me now. We finished the 2020-2021 season, and we're on our end of season review. We've had, uh, I'd call it a successful season. We've got no silverware, admittedly, um, but we're West Ham. We're used to not getting trophies. We finished fourth in the league. Uh, we qualified for the Champions League and we lost in the FA Cup final. That <laughs> I couldn't ask for more than that. I never really expected any more than that starting this. Um, so, yeah, we'll see how we get on. We are ready to go. We've got our end of season review. That's going to be it for this, se- for this video. Just go back through the uh, season, see what happened. So, start off as it goes through here the new arrivals, the transfers in. Um, and so on and so forth. So, as I say, the players coming in, we had um, the main the main one was Emiliano Buendia. Um, he, he cost us thirty million plus um, a part exchange player, uh, forty one appearances. He was pretty much ever present. Uh, 16 goals, 11 assists, 7.08 rating. He did well. He doesn't seem to be a big game player. Tends to go missing quite a lot with that. Um, Only a C from the board. Um, But then again, he costs a lot of money, so maybe there is that. Briez Mendes is one that came in in January um, from, from Celta Vigo. Um, 13 appearances, four goals, six assists. Again, did all right, did okay. Uh, Syed Ben Rahama suffered quite a bit from um, having to be trained to play in the position he was in. Um, he, he was he was a winger slash striker, more of a winger than a striker, and we had to retrain him to play through the middle. He did done well when he come on. His six appearances, five goals, twelve. Sub appearances as well, though, as well, though. So 18 and 5. It's still not bad under a 7 rating, though. So, not really the best. Uh, Suchek started off well, had a strong mid season, and then uh, tailed off towards the end a little bit. 19 appearances, only five goals, but he's a ball winning midfielder. He's not there to win the to 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 score the goals, he's there to stop them from scoring. Uh, Thilo Kura. Came in again, another one in January, uh, on loan originally, but uh, we've got him coming in to we've made that permanent. Um, Twenty-four appearances, just under seven average rating. Baba Rahman was there straight from the off. Um, he did all right. He was uh, Cresswell's understudy, very much so. Um, we've had quite a lot of people coming in and out. Uh, Wallace was. He was supposed to be Mark Noble's replacement, but Noble really played quite well himself, so he never really uh, got a run of games. That will change this coming season, I'd imagine. Um, he only got four starts, 14 subs. Ku Farrell was one that was already on the game before we started. Um, played a lot, 25 games. Um, the average rating is not really the best. Dawson was never going to play much. He uh, he had another one that came in New Year um, into the team in the New Year and did quite well, but I'm never really uh, convinced by him. Fede San Emetero is stat wise looks like he's going to be an absolute baller, um, tackling, passing, marking. Uh, he's got teamwork, he's got work rate, he's got positioning, he's got bravery, he's got aggression, he, he's fast, he's run for days, he's got natural fitness, he's got good balance, um, he's a strong leadership candidate, um, determined, he's got all the stats there. Another one that re- never really had a run of games, purely simply because um, Declan Rice and Mark Noble were, were such strong candidates to play in the middle of that. Although he never really, uh, Declan never really had the best of games. So that was the way in. That was the one in. Um, I'd say two, two or three that were quite uh, decent with that. Um, on the outs, there's some high profile outs. Um, Sebastian Allaire, 
for 13 and a half. Jan Lenga for 11 and a half. Stodgrass went to Norwich as part of Buendia coming in. Antonio for 16 and a half. Balbuena went in January for 10. So, yeah, there's... Um, a lot that's uh, that there's a lot of outs on there for some big money, which enabled us to bring in those players that uh, that cost us quite a bit of money. Um, so that's that's the transfer ones. As there is, there's not a lot really on the attacking side that I can uh, really improve on. Philip Anderson's coming back from loan, um, so hopefully he'll be happy to stay. We've got Champions League football, so um, the board wanted mid table. We promised we, we delivered fourth. The board confidence is A plus as it's going to be. The delighted the teams qualify for the Champions Cup. It's all good. Um, average home attendance of 57,000, which is only 86% capacity, but that's all they'll let us have at the moment. Um, top goal scorers, Jared Bowen and Buendia with 16 goals apiece. Um, we started off very, very strong um, between. The, the, on the first half, really, between the opening game of the season and middle of December, we'd lost one game all season. That was to Villa. Um, the second half wasn't as good. Um, we lost Chelsea, Brighton, Newcastle, Man City twice, um, Man U, Chelsea again, and then Sheffield United last game of the season. We're losing the games that we kind of expected to in there, really. Um, Man U, Man City, Chelsea, but um, yeah, it, 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 it was a good, good, good season. The FA Cup, we spent to reach the fifth round, and we lost in the final. Jared Bowen, our top goal scorer, with there, B plus from the board for that. And the only way we could have gone any better was with actually winning it. Not the easiest of runs, really. Full of Premier League, QPR, World Championship, Championship. Premier League, top of the championship, and there. So I'm happy with how the FA Cup went. Uh, it could have gone better. Maybe it's my fault. The uh, We lost the final, a bit, a bit too hesitant. But there we go. Um, the Cowboy Cup, we're not counting the third round. But it was it was Spurs. So if they see from the board that they couldn't understand, the team had a difficult draw. It's, uh, yeah, that's, that's one to improve on next year for sure. Um, biggest win was in the FA Cup 6-1 versus Cardiff 4 for Bowens um, match to remember in the Premier League was the first game of the season Buendia, Noble and four nows in a 3-0 tonking of Leicester and the goal of the season was uh, Aaron Cresswell's goal in the uh, free kick 28 metre free kick so that was good Financial wise, um, I think we were right. I'd imagine um, everything's in the green, heading up. Um, no new sponsorship deals. Thirty thousand shirts sold. Not Nobles, the uh, number one. He's the club captain. Is always going to be. Um, I'd imagine that will change a little bit. I, think, I expect Brendan uh, and Bowen to get a few more shirts next time. But there we go. That's the strike list formation that we've uh, we've started with. Um, the main formations there. Those three up front were very, very potent through the game. Um, midfield two kind of swapped between the three with um, Declan Rice as well in and out, but he didn't re he, he really didn't do the best. Um, accolade wise, uh, I got. Uh, three managers of the month for September, March. I'm oh, sorry, two managers of the month and the manager of the year. Um, Jared Bowen was player, fans player of the year and young player of the year. Buendia was signing of the season, no surprise there. Uh, goal of the season was Cresswell went through that time. Goal scorer was Bowen with 20 and the most assists and the most amount of the matches and the highest rating. Um, Noble was the highest completed passing. Uh, yeah, so it's the worst discipline. Declan Rice, 18 yellow, one red. Mm. Something we need to have a look at, really. Competition awards, no one won any of those, but that's not a problem. 
it's a team game after all. So there we are. We are looking on for next year. Um, we've had the team meeting. The board expect mid-table. Um, I pushed for top half. The player said that's too much, so we've got to tip up for mid mid table. So anything above there is uh, the, keep the board happy. Um, we have got some players coming in already arranged. Um, we've got Daniel Daniele Rugani um, is coming in on a free transfer from uh, Juve. This is a guy that I've liked for many many years now. Uh, fast run for days, can jump. Brave is not too bad, but he can con his concentration is there. His positioning is where he gets his best out of this. Um, and he can make a pass as well. So I'm looking forward to him. He's one for the centre. Uh, Theo is coming in on a permanent basis. And then we've got uh, Valerio Veri, who will be a, a backup, very much a backup one here. Um, hopefully one that will improve but we'll see where that goes and that's where that's where everything is there um, so what we're going to do now is we will finish this one here we've uh, recapped the season as it is and we will move on we'll push through the um, close season and I'll tinker around with a couple of tactics, see what I can come up with, uh, and we'll come back for the pre-season friendly starting for the 2021-22 season. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you again.